G'day you cheeky dogs! My name's Margie and I'm an Aussie currently living in America. Today's video we're gonna have a big discussion about all the theories going on with Brandy. So the month of June I've been doing a bunch of Bluey videos based on season 3B. I've been doing breakdowns and easter eggs and this video is basically gonna address the biggest theories that we've had so far. And not surprisingly they've all basically been about Chili's sister Brandy and the fact that we have a new aunt in the series and now we finally kind of know why we've just never seen her before. So if you've watched any of my previous videos you'll know that I've already done a theory about why Brandy wasn't in Bluey until this season and I think that maybe some of those ideas in that theory video still stand but definitely in the episode onesies we've got way more details into what's going on with Brandy and why she didn't want to be around Chili for the last four years. So I'm gonna break down some of the top theories about what's going on, including the miscarriages, infertility, divorce, IVF, adoption, if Bingo's actually her daughter, all of those things. But before I do, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and bell button down below so you know when you get more Bluey content coming out from me. I also like to do other animated content and Australia versus America stuff. But as I said, June is the month for Bluey, so we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with that. Now, with that being said, let's just go into what I think is one of the most interesting theories but maybe not the most realistic and that is that Bingo is actually Brandy's daughter not Chili's daughter. Now the idea behind this is basically that when Bingo does finally meet Aunt Brandy for the first time there's this whole discussion about how she looks just like her and at first I remember watching the scene and thinking they were going to say that Bingo looks like their mother and we don't know what's going on with Chili and Brandy's mum we've never seen her it's assumed she's passed away but no they went to say that Bingo looks like Aunt Brandy and I mean I can see it they both have the exact same orange eye patches Bingo doesn't have any brown on her like Chili does that could be a little bit of a hint as well they are both red healers of course too and then there's also the age so Bingo we know is now five years old she had her birthday in the episode handstand and duck cake we saw that all going down but we find out in this episode onesies that Chili hasn't seen Brandy for four years so that would mean that Bingo is around the age of one years old basically but we also know that they've only seen each other once since then and that's the one time that Bluey met her but she doesn't really remember either so it must have been either just around when Bingo was born sometime around then because Bingo's got no memory of her. Now also at the end of the episode onesies we hear from Brandy saying to Chili that you know she couldn't be around for those last four years because it was just so hard seeing you all. So again that could be a little bit of a hint as to her just not being able to see her own biological daughter because it was too hard for her. But then that begs the question of well you know why did she give Bingo up? Because obviously if that's the case she would have had to have given Bingo up, Chili would have adopted her instead and and then Brandy has been basically gone for four years. Now the obvious answer I feel like to this would be of course mental health issues and something surrounding that so whether something happened when Bingo was born and she was either going through rehab or mental health issues and had to wait till she was better but she gave up all of her rights to be a mother basically and handed those over to Chili. Now this is a pretty pretty in-depth kind of theory. I don't think it's accurate though. I don't feel like Ludo Studios would have done that. I do think that Bingo is Chili's biological daughter and that just because they're auntie and niece that's why they look alike. It is a pretty cool theory but it's a very intense theory and whilst Ludo Studios does delve into some really intense topics I think maybe mental health issues and giving up your children isn't something that they're going to be delving into anytime soon. So it's a cool theory but I don't think it's completely accurate. But that then brings on to the next theories which I think are possibly a lot more accurate and that's to do with the whole idea of the episode the show and miscarriages. Now I've already made a theory about this as to whether or not Chili did have a miscarriage and Bluey is a rainbow baby. There's a bunch of people talking about it already on the internet so we're gonna sort of talk about that but adding in Aunt Brandy now to the situation. So just in case you don't know in the episode the show they're recreating basically Chili's life for her as like a show and in one part of it Bingo is pretending to be Chili. She has a balloon under her belly pretending to be pregnant and the balloon pops. Bandit grabs Chili's hand and they have like this very intense moment. A lot of people read this as saying that Chili had had a miscarriage which means that Bluey was a rainbow baby. Now I've got two possible variations on this. The first one is that maybe Chili never had the miscarriage but Bandit grabbing her hand like that could mean that the idea of miscarriages is a very touchy subject for Chili because perhaps 
Her sister kept having miscarriages whilst Chili had two very healthy children. And because of that, it caused a rift between the two of them, which means that they hadn't talked in over four years. So that I think is actually pretty plausible. That could be a real situation that might have happened and why that topic was so sensitive for her and why her and Bandit had that reaction to the balloon popping under Bingo. The second possible variation of this is that yes, Chili did have a miscarriage and perhaps so did Brandy. And maybe fertility issues are something that is common within their family or the cattle dog family. So perhaps Chili had had a miscarriage as had Brandy and they were both struggling to have children. And of course at that point they would have been quite close together, they were going through the same experiences, they wouldn't have been angry or upset at each other. But then Chili had Bluey. And I think at that point, yeah, Brandy could have been supportive. She's like, yes, that's awesome, you've had a child, maybe there's hope for me still as well. But then Chili had Bingo too. And perhaps that was just too much for Brandy who had been trying for so long and at that point when Chili had bingo she would have been in her late 30s which means Brandy her older sister most likely would have been in her 40s by that time as well and if we're going off like human genetics I guess but even though it's for dogs obviously there's a bit of parallels with health stuff but basically once you're in your 40s it's almost next to impossible to have children yes it is still a possibility but it's so so rare the biological clock is basically gone by that point so maybe that's what happened Chili had bingo Brandy was in her 40s and just realized this is the end I can't have kids my sister is able to have two healthy children and it was just too heartbreaking for her and she just could not be around them anymore even though I'm sure deep down she was happy for her sister but it was just too much for her to handle and that's why we hadn't seen her up until this point and why it was so hard for her to be around all of them now I think that's honestly probably the most plausible theory as to sort of what happened and why they couldn't talk to each other for so long but I think it's also interesting to bring up the idea of what's going on with Brandy and her fertility in terms of also a husband, a Mr. Brandy out there, IVF and adoption. Another possible reason why she couldn't be around Chili and the kids for so long is not only for the fact that she couldn't have kids, but maybe it caused a rift between her and her husband or boyfriend at the time, and it also led to a breakup or divorce. And again, that created more negative memories and also why we didn't find out anything about whether or not Brandy has a significant other. So that could be a possibility as well. Another option, of course, is IVF. Perhaps there was going to be some LGBTQ representation with Brandy in the show, in which case then she would be doing IVF to have a child. And again, IVF is not always successful. It's really hard and really expensive too. So again, maybe that's what she was trying to do and she just wasn't able to conceive through IVF and again was just so heartbreaking for her. But I think something to bring up though on a very happy note is the idea of adoption. And I really think that this is what Ludo Studios is going to do with Brandy. We've seen Ludo do a lot of stuff with Bluey, especially this season in terms of increasing diversity and representation, especially the episode Turtle Boy. It was fantastic seeing the use of Australian sign language between a child and their mother. So I think the idea of adoption and also the idea of a mixed breed family is something that Ludo could definitely do with Aunt Brandy as a character. They could easily show, most likely in season four or perhaps season five, Brandy, you know, coming to terms with being around Chili and Bandit and the girls and enjoying being around the girls and then realizing, you know, my options haven't completely gone. There is still the idea of adoption. And perhaps we might see that process of her adopting a different style or a different breed of dog and then bringing them into the family and then talking about how, you know, blended families are something that exists. And it would be a really cool way, I think, of bringing that idea into Ludo and into Bluey as an amazing show. But which theory do you guys support the most? What do you think happened between Aunt Brandy and Chili? The feelings, do you think that Aunt Brandy could represent adoption or an LGBT character or a mixed family character? What do you think that they might do with her? Let me know in that comment section down below. I know for me, I'm super, super excited to see what they're going to do with the character in the following seasons. But again, I don't think we'll find out until maybe season four or season five. But till then, we can just keep making theories. I plan on doing a whole heap of other Bluey theories as well, based off all the new information we got in season 3B. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you know when those videos come out. Until then though, I picked out a few other videos that maybe you might like to watch, and I will see you cheeky dogs in another video. Mwah. Bye!